Hey, as America still mourns the loss of our Marines and, and the attack, the terrorist attack on our own soil, now we hear of the bombing in Turkey, and ISIS continues their march. And you know, people still are proclaiming Islam as a religion of peace. And not too long ago in our own country, again, we had racial tensions, and it feels like in our country that we're on the verge of anything can happen, and everybody is searching for peace. But I want you to understand something. With no Jesus there'll be no peace. The Bible says in Isaiah, the ninth chapter, verse 6, it says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. You know, Jesus brings us peace. People reject Christ, and that's why there's no peace in their life. There's many today that are claiming to be Christians, claiming to be uh, servants of God, and you even go to church, you even think that you're, because you're on a church road, you've been baptized, that somehow you're already grafted in and everything's good, but yet you have no peace, and you try to find your peace in worldly things, worldly pleasures. God gives you a peace beyond all understanding, a peace that this world cannot offer, and that's only through His Son, Jesus Christ. That's one way that you know you've been born again, because you have a peace inside. No matter what's going on around the world, no matter what's going on in your life, there's a peace, a strength that you draw from inside, from the Holy Spirit of God. The Bible says in John, the first chapter, verse 11, He says, He came into His own, and His own received Him not. They didn't want Him. They didn't want anything to do with him. They wanted him to get away. Why? Because they like their religion. They like their status. They like their control. Jesus comes and he says, you must surrender to me. Surrender your will. Surrender everything to me. And I will give you peace. I'll give you joy. I'll give you love. I'll give you understanding. I'll give you the ability to stand in these troubled times we're in. He also says, but as many as received him, to them he gave the power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Have you been born again? That's the only way you can receive this peace I'm talking about. People are looking around in our country and saying, what in the world is going on? Where is the church today? Why are Christians not standing up and doing this and doing that? Well, the Bible tells us in Thessalonians, it says in the last days before Christ comes, there'll be a great falling away. As a matter of fact, it says in Timothy, the fourth chapter, 1 Timothy, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies of hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. You can turn on TBN, you can turn on the internet, you can turn on any source you want to to hear preaching, and nine times out of ten you're going to hear somebody tickling your ear, trying to tell you it's, your, you know, it's all about you, it's all about what you can have in life, and this world has all the things that God has put here for you to have. I want you to know something. This world is decrepit. This world is passing away. The Bible says that not one word of God will pass away. He is forever stand and settled in heaven, and this is not our home. If you're a child of God, the Spirit that dwells within you cries, Abba, Father, to the God who is our Daddy, and we are, we are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, and we have a place we're leaving and going to one day. It's called heaven. Glory to God. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. So if you want that peace today, beyond all understanding, if you want to be able to just not worry about what's going on in our country or around the world and know that just today, if you're gone just like that, that you'll be with the Father in heaven, then all you have to do is repent of your sins, believe on Jesus Christ. He died on the cross. He shed his blood and rose again for you and accept that free gift of salvation today. Father, we thank you for the souls that have been saved since this weekend through Real Word Outdoors by you using God. We give you the praise and glory for using this ministry. I pray, Lord, whoever's listening to this, if they're lost, strong conviction on their hearts. And God, I pray that you draw them to the cross and they be saved. I pray for the families of those that are Christians that are wanting their children to be saved, their grandchildren, their husbands and wives. God, we pray, Lord, for a great outpouring of your spirit. And Lord, we pray in our own lives let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer, in Jesus' name, amen.